pump efficiency there are two types of uh, general losses in pump one is the leakage loss and then another one is the mechanical loss like vibration due to vibration and frictions in the mechanical friction so due to um, leakage loss um, which is called volumetric efficiency volumetric efficiency which is expressed by eta and then this subscript v indicates a um, volumetric uh, displacement and we have calculated before the uh, theoretical flow rate and then the actual flow rate so actual flow rate will be always less and if it's 100 percent sealed no leakage then it will be almost 100 uh, percent now the uh, mechanical efficiency is um, basically due to mechanical friction vibration things like that mechanical efficiency which is expressed by eta too but it, it uses a subscript um, aim to indicate mechanical which is the power uh, output assuming no leakage uh, pump power output assuming no leakage no leak divide by the actual power input to the pump actual power input to the pump so if there is no leakage we can Im then then actual and q they're basically the same so we can write the without leakage you can write the power equation p q theoretical so if there is no leakage then it will provide the theoretical flow divide by the actual power input which is torque input times n divide by 6300 0, 0, like that so that's the mechanical efficiency equation now then the overall e efficiency which is not really a third category but uh, basically combining the volumetric and mechanical so the overall pump efficiency overall efficiency O is basically multiplied by the two um, volumetric efficiency times the mechanical efficiency or uh, we can use the general formula basically actual power uh, output by the pump divided by actual power input to the pump so actual power input output by the pump by actual power input to the pump and then this one we can calculate by pq actual power output is basically uh, pqa by 1714 and then this one we can calculate by torque actual times n by 63000 like that um, so if we rearrange this we can find basically overall efficiency is equal to uh, pqa by 1714 divide by tn t actual times n divided by 63 0, 0, like that uh, so that's it the uh, overall efficiency now for if it's the um, English uh, uh, metric system or SI system then this conversion uh, does not exist so simply pq 
um, and then divide by T and A. So in that case, the P unit of P would be um, um, meter per uh, newton per meter square, and then Q would be meter cube per second, and then T would be me newton meter, and then N is in um, rep per second. You can use um, uh, meter cube per minute, then N would be a rep per minute like that. So, or in US system, this is in P, P is in PSI, Q is in gallon per minute, and then T is in uh, uh, pound uh, inch, and then N is in just rep per minute. And these are the conversion comes because of using those regular unit. So that's it about the efficiency of pump.